Listen to me very carefully. We are not adopting a child. That's final. David, how did that happen? I put us on the list, and I don't know. We went right to the top. Well, I'm not going, and neither are you. Peter, you're shouting. Don't do that. Listen to me very carefully. We are not adopting a child. That's final. Will you calm down and we can talk Hell's about- Hell's bells, Trudy! That is final! You don't speak to me that way! <sighs> you have lost your mind! Now return to tonight's million Sunday magazine. Good morning. Peter Campbell. Sorry to keep you waiting. Well, I assume you know why we're here, Mr. McDonald. We feel there's been a mistake regarding our daughter, Tammy. It's a Campbell family tradition to receive the inimitable education of Greenwich Country Day. But you didn't go here. No, but a Campbell has been in attendance since it was a barn. <laughs> I'm sorry, but our decision is final. Now, Trudy explained to me that you said it's a question of space, and I say Tammy would make it worth your while. She wouldn't feel extra at all. It's not a question of space. Your little girl scored very low on her draw a man test. Well, that's news to us, and I find it hard to believe. Your ex-wife and I discussed this. Children have to draw a man, and their development is assessed based on the volume of details. Eyes, nose, ears, ten fingers, ten toes, etc. Your daughter had only a head, mustache, and necktie. Mustache? She didn't understand what you wanted, and I've been told anything beyond a stick figure is considered advanced for her age. Albert Einstein didn't speak until he was four years old. <laughs> this is not about your little girl. The real problem is that your former wife failed to submit applications to other schools. That was careless and arrogant. What? How dare you? I think we've said all there is to say. We're not leaving until you apologize to Trudy. Peter, it doesn't matter. Einstein. Would you like to step outside? 
Are you sure you wouldn't rather get me while I'm sleeping? Like a real Campbell? Are you kidding me? No McDonald will ever mix with a Campbell. What are you talking about? It's some stupid story. It's 300 years old. He's obviously nuts. You should know that his clan took advantage of the gift of hospitality and murdered my ancestors while they slept. The king ordered it! Just be grateful. You can remarry and get rid of that name. <sighs> <clears throat> Come on, Trudy. Another sucker punch from the Campbells. Coward. Impossible. He would never. He didn't ask you because he thinks you're a homo. I can't believe the hours I've put into helping you become the monster you've become. I was doing my job. It was my account! Your account? You have no idea what you're doing. In fact, as far as I can tell, our need for you disappeared the day after you fired us. Mr. Campbell. That'll be enough of that. Mr. Campbell, you and I are going to address that insult. Are you kidding me? No, you're a grimy little pimp. As soon as I raise my hands, I warn you, it shall be too late to run. Fine. You want to take your teeth out, or you want me to knock them out? I know cooler heads should prevail, but am I the only one who wants to see this? Come on. Let's go. Medieval. Hi, I'm so shame. Consider that my last piece of advice. 